S light into N light is a really quick string that works at all damages because it has zero variable force, which means that damage doesn't increase the pushback distance, so it will be the same push at all damages. If you could only learn one string, it should be this one because it's reliable at all times and has great follow up potential, which is how well it can string into another attack. N light into recovery is a slow string that also works at all damages because the N light has zero variable force. It has very low follow-up potential, so it's not that useful for building up damage. You should use this mostly when the enemy is at high damage, like 100 plus, so that you can use the force from recovery to knock them off the platform. And light into Nair is a really quick string that also works at all damages. Unlike the last string, this one has good follow-up potential, especially at the lower damages, so it should be used more often when the enemy is not very damaged, like at white and yellow damage. Nair into Ser is a slow string that works at 0 to 70 damage. It has decent follow up potential at really low damages. It's pretty much the only good follow up after Nair because you can only follow up Nair at low damages and the only other follow up is recovery, which is slower and doesn't knock out very far at low damages. So there's really no reason to do Nair into recovery over Nair into Ser. This string has decent follow up potential. Ser into Nair is one of the true combos on Scythe, but it's hard to get to be true. It works at around 0 to 60 damage, and you have to hit the enemy using the top hitbox of the Ser. Then you jump forward into Nair for it to be true. It can also be a string if you hit the enemy in the middle of the hitboxes, in which case you would not jump and simply Nair forwards. This string has decent follow up potential. Dare into satellite is a quick string that works at 0 to 60 damage. The trick is to land the dare close enough to the ground that you're able to instantly go into a satellite when you finish the dare. You can still do this string up to 100 damage, but for it to have low dodge frames, you would have to land the dare pretty much while you're touching the ground so that the enemy doesn't bounce off too high for the satellite. It's pretty hard to do after 60 damage, so I don't recommend going for it at that point. This string has great follow up potential. Nair into S light is a true combo at 0 to 80 damage. The trick is to land the Nair with active input backwards on the enemy close enough to the ground that they'll be sent low enough to the ground for the S light to hit immediately after. This combo has great follow up potential. D light into recovery is a slow string that works at all damage ranges because D light has zero variable force. Unlike most strings, you need to chase dodge diagonally up and forwards for this string to hit. It is one of the easier strings to dodge and has no follow up potential, but it has a lot of force from recovery, so I recommend only using this string at higher damages like 100 plus to knock out the enemy. D light into Nair is a really quick string that works at all damage ranges. It also requires you to J-Sosh diagonally up and forwards for it to hit. It has a lot of follow up potential, especially at lower damages. So I recommend using this string over the previous string when the enemy is less damaged like at white and yellow damages. D light into Sayer is a really quick string that works at all damage ranges. It doesn't have a lot of follow up potential and doesn't knock out as far as recovery does, but it doesn't require a chase dodge. So it is a bit safer to use if you're not sure if the enemy can dodge out of it. But if you're confident that they won't dodge, then the other two D light strings are often better. There are way more strings than what I've shown you so far, but out of all the possible strings and combos, these are the ones that I choose to practice with because they're the hardest ones to dodge out of, have the most kill potential, and or have the best potential for longer strings. You can mix and match all the previous strings to make huge amount of practical strings. Showing all the possible long strings would be overkill though, because I would just be reusing some of the smaller strings multiple times. So I'll show you only the longest strings that you can do by combining these small strings from here on. As far as I know, this is the longest string on site you can do that involves all attacks being used immediately right after each other, without delay other than for quickly jumping. You can start this long string with either the dare or the nair into s light. You can only get this entire string to work smoothly as zero damage against a 5 defense or higher legend. And none of it is true, so the enemy can dodge out of it anytime they have their dodge up, so this string isn't as crazy as it looks. This string can work at 0 to 80 damage, but only up to the end light into Nair though, since S light and end light both have zero variable force. This doesn't have to be just one big string. You can start this sequence of strings starting from any part of this long string, and it would work until the last Ser. 
It's worth noting that if you start the string with the nair part, when the enemy is at 0 damage, you could do one more nair than usual at the very end, because the enemy won't be damaged enough to get pushed too far away for the one extra nair after Sarah to connect. So fishing for a nair when the enemy has taken 0 damage can lead to a lot of damage. And if you start the string with Sarah, you will get a 6 hit string ending with nair. It only goes all the way to 6 hits at 0 damage though. This is a combination of previously mentioned strings. It only works at 0 damage, since it involves a lot of moves with more than 0 variable force. A good rule of thumb is that the long strings will only work fully at very low damages, like white and light yellow, unless they have 0 variable force moves, like s light or n light, in which case it could be higher up to yellow and a light orange damages. If this list of strings seems too much for you, then just practice the first few. You only really need to practice the two hit strings, since they make up the longer strings anyway. So if you practice those, then the longer strings will naturally become easy to do. I hope this guide helped you out. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.